Hey guys, and welcome back to Evil Within. Now, uh, I've been really looking forward to playing some more of this, actually. Um, now, the first part that I recorded, I probably recorded that about three weeks ago. So, things are a little bit foggy, however. I do remember that we were looking after this... Ooh, hello. This strange uh, photographer guy who seems to be murdering people, then locking them into an endless cycle of torment, which is actually quite interesting. Um, anyway, let's continue. So I have a photograph of our fine self here. What the hell? Uh. Ooh. Somebody. Oh! Oh, shit! Yeah, we're not really equipped to fight this thing. Um. Hello! Uh, so we can sprint, consume stamina, that's standard. Shit. Okay, so we do actually have our stamina bar back now, in full effect. You right there? Um, just keep running, Sab. Just keep running. Don't look back. Or try not to look back, anyway. Really don't have our arse split in half right now. Incidentally, it feels like my arse has been split in half. Oh, God. Ooh. That was gory and satisfying, actually. Um, okay. So the creature design is still fairly on point with the original game, which is good. Which is really good. Yep. What the the scary hell? stuff's about to happen. So Vault is W and E together. That's kind of strange. Not a massive fan of, of that setup. <clears throat> Never mind. Hello. How the hell your spine is supporting your top heavy body like that? Uh, I have no idea. We're not going to question it. We're just going to run. It's best not to question anything when you're inside STEM. Um, hmm. Just keep running, Sab. And hopefully we're not going to run out of stamina. Because I'm kind of concerned at how little stamina we actually have. Uh, I remember from the first game that was like one of the best upgrades. Okay, he actually, like, auto-vaulted that time. Oh, that door probably won't stop someone with a chain saw. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying, Sebastian. Alright, hang on. Is there anything in here to pick up? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, up and over. Up and over, Sab. We're never stuck, Sebastian. There's always a way out. You should know that by now. Come on, buddy. Come on. I could get up there quicker than that. Alright, let's go. Yeah, my ass is uh, Damn it. extremely Damn tender right about now. As I fell over uh, at the Elf Festival, which was kind of annoying. Um, I tried to kick my friend in the ass, and he moved. And I fell over on my ass, which... Uh, oh, the irony. Uh-oh. Um, ouch. I don't know how we could have avoided that. Okay, Sab. Next time we see that coming at us, we're just going to back the fuck away. And hope for the best. Really don't need to be cut in half in these vents. That's a little bit awkward, if you ask me. Just because you don't hear it, Sab, doesn't mean it's not there, remember? And we cannot... We cannot run. Here's Johnny. Sab, you know the drill by now, buddy. Left shift, huh? yes, we know about left shift now. Just keep running, just... Oh, dear, this is not great. Who is this? Oh! This is very reminiscent of the first game. Oh, E is to struggle. Okay, well, we're going to struggle and slice. How do you like that, you bitch? Oh, God. Careful now, Sebastian. Very reminiscent of uh, the first game. Running away from the chainsaw guy. Well, I guess on the plus side, we now have a knife. You know what's going on, Sebastian? 
We're in STEM. Automatic health regeneration. When your health is critically low, the life gauge will turn red. While the life gauge is red, it will automatically regenerate up to a certain point. It will regenerate more quickly if you stand still. So if you find a safe place to hide and recover whilst in critical condition. Yeah, same as the first game. Oh, great. Oh, great. It's automatically put us in a wounded state. There we go. Well, that's... Not exactly fantastic, but uh, it'll do for now. Now, do we have any guns or anything around here? I'm supposed to have a DLC pack that gives me, like, guns and stuff, but um, I don't really know how that works. Apparently, like, when we get to Chapter 2... Now, where am I? Um, I have no idea where we are. But it actually looks quite swanky, you know? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is a nice, that is a nice wash basin. Very nice. The toilet could use a little bit of work. So we have a door there. Performance is feeling a little bit ooh, better. Medical syringes. The origin uh, of the med medicine in these portable syringes is unknown, but they provide moderate health restoration. Okay. Well, mouse three. Ooh, mouse three goes into inventory now. Oh, that's nice as well. Look at this. Cool. Well, uh, weapons can be set to shortcuts. Quick access. Highlight the uh, a weapon and then push one of the shortcut keys to assign it to a shortcut slot. That's nice. So let's have health on two. All right. I like that. <clears throat> a little bit better than the first game, actually. The first game uh, was really not set up very well for the PC. So, from a control standpoint, that is quite a lot nicer. Ooh. Nice. Well, that's okay, Sab. I'm glad you noticed that, buddy, because we are going to be uh, needing that, I'm sure. Wow, look Maybe at this. this. Is the right place. Well, it kind of has to be the right place, Sab. I hope you're here too. Uh, photo of the Cost Costellianos family. This photo, I thought this was lost in the fire forever. I remember when I took this, Lily's breath smelled like cotton candy. Maya never looked more beautiful. Mm. Oh, love you daddy written on the back. That's cute. Um, zoom is R. Oh no, mouse 2 is zoom. Okay, that's... Kind of strange, but sure. Uh, R, show high details, and Q is back. What Got you. Myself into? Well, Sab, you kind of knew. Sebastian, where have you been? We lost you. I don't know. But it sure as hell wasn't a quaint little town. There's something bad happening in here, Kidman. Baker is dead. There's a killer running around in here, doing things that are... It's like Beacon all over again. What the fuck did you just send me into? I don't know. We're in the dark out here. Baker was the team leader. If he's dead, that doesn't bode well for the rest of them. Keep searching around. The more info you gather, the more I'll be able to help you. Yeah. Sure. Okay, ah, here we go. The last chance pack. You've acquired the following items. Burst handgun. Uh, 50 gunpowder, 100, 100 weapon parts, one high-grade weapon part, medical kit, and five herbs. Okay, this is quite Resident Evil. Uh, okay, burst handgun. This automatic pistol fires three bursts and can do more damage than the standard semi-automatic handgun. However, it shares the same ammunition. Yeah, so it's going to eat ammo like a bitch. Gunpowder, an explosive mi mixture of potassium nitrate, sulfur, and charcoal. Used in shells and cartridges, 12 centuries old and still just as effective. This component can be used to craft ammunition and other useful items. Yeah, well, it's not exactly the same stuff they were using 12 centuries ago, but okay. High-grade weapon parts. These weapon parts are higher quality than standard weapon parts. They can be used to unlock a weapon's upgrade potential. Oh, very nice. 
Various uh, useful components that can be used to upgrade weapons at a workbench. Okay. Medical kit contains medication that restores a moderate amount of health better than a medical syringe. Medical kits can be crafted from herbs. A naturally occurring plant with med uh, medicinal properties, the component can be used to craft medical items. Right, okay. Um, so this is um Oh, wow, look at this. It's like proper map and exploration. Missions? No way. Oh, guys, this is going to be cool, I think. And we've got statistics as well. I do like statistics. Tripwise trips. Coffee breaks. What? Oh, talking of coffee break, that sounds quite nice, actually. <clears throat> um, Skills acquired. 40 skills to acquire. Nice. And locker keys as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, holographic slides. Right. Yeah, so I got a comment about these. Apparently, we can talk to Kidman. Um, I don't know if you meant that we can talk to her about all of the slides or if that's a bit of dialogue we missed. Um, this isn't going to be a complete playthrough, obviously, because, you know, I'm completely blind and I don't want to look anything of this game up. Uh, 109 weapon upgrades, which is nice. Pouches, I'm assuming, to hold more gear. That's nice. Enemies defeated, headshots. All right. Guys, this this is seeming like a massive uh, upgrade to the, over the first game. I kind of want to use this. See, we only have max of 20 rounds, which is not fantastic. We've got the semi-automatic. Ah, oh, it's so cool as well that we get a semi-automatic uh, as opposed to the, the six-shooter in the original game. Um, I do like the idea of the burst handgun, however the clip, I don't know why, they, this is so strange, should be a magazine, um, only holds six rounds. I think we should save this for like bosses and things, this is for everyday, everyday activities. Uh, let's have our handgun as one. Okay, cool. We're going to have to explore quite thoroughly as well, I think. So let's continue looking for other members of the team. Can we, like, open this? I guess it's already open. Oh, Herb. Let's take you. I'm really excited. So do we have, like, a, a crafting menu then? Or do we have to do that at a workbench? I'm not sure. Right, well, we're not going to worry too much about it right now. Yeah, people were complaining about the graphics of this game as well. Uh, personally, I think they're good. They're, you know, it, it's not setting the world on fire, but it certainly does the job. Games don't have to look amazing, as long as they perform well, which, okay, sadly, this game doesn't, but never mind. The first game was actually a very nice-looking game. Well, that's not great. What the hell? Son of a bitch. Left here to rot like this. See, hang on, my phone's going crazy. It looks like he's covered in like a plastic bag or something, which is not great. I'm getting a little bit of a Resident Evil slash Silent Hill vibe, which is Do kind of what I got from the first one. It's just a small, quiet town. Now, now, Sab, you yeah. knew. Too quiet. You knew what you was getting into, sir. Why is my phone... Okay, I'm going to mute my phone. Right. One second. And the phone is... Muted. There we go. Okay. Right. Oh, this looks uh, interesting. I'm getting the feeling that we're going to run into zombies and things. Oh. Hello. Hey. Um, Sab, I wouldn't. You had to have heard me. Better check it out. Seriously, buddy. Seriously. 
Of course she heard us. Maybe. Hello? Well, that looks delicious. Oh, this is very Resident Evil 7. I said oh, shit. Alright, lady. Lady, I think he's eaten enough. Love. Oh, this is gonna get worse before it gets better. Oh, really? Okay, she is uh, one seriously pissed off mama. So that's three rounds we've just lost. Through no fault of our own. Uh oh. Um Sab. Oh god. Oh shit. So wait, she's still no, she's dead. Okay, so the three shots that you used in the cutscene didn't count. I'm kinda of happy about that. Um give me some juice. Green gel. It's gross, and it usually comes from dead enemies, but you if you can collect it, you can uh, use it to obtain increased abilities. Excellent. Investigate. Kidman. That was fast. Did you learn anything new? Well, yeah, kind of. I did. I learned that it really is like Beacon in here. The people in here are turning into creatures. Damn it. What the hell happened? I don't know. But it means that Lily is in more danger than just being lost. Sebastian. Save it, Kidman. Leave it to me. I'm gonna find her. Well, to be fair, Sebastian, we are kind of the best man for the job here. We've been through this before, buddy. If anyone can save it, it's her. It's us. I have no doubt. Well, we leave the TV on because it gives us a little bit of light. I don't know what... Okay, I think that's like our cover indicator. It's telling us where we can get into cover. That's quite nice. The gunplay, although I've only, you know, fired a couple of shots, actually feels... It feels a lot nicer. The aiming is so much more responsive than the first game. At least so far. The first game, the, the aiming controls were really stiff and awkward. and Although they were serviceable and you could get used to it, they, they weren't great. But then, like the first game, you know, it's a new game from a, from a new company. And considering what they put out, it, it was pretty good. I liked it. I liked the first game a lot. Well, buddy. If only we could have got here a little bit sooner. See, look at the graphics, man. This looks... Hmm. Yeah, I'll have a bowl of that. Oh, wow. Are they apples? Those apples don't look great. I like the way Sab is reacting to this as well. That's really, really cool. That's a nice touch, you know? I like the little details. One thing that un the Uncharted games and Naughty Dog games in general are really good for. Bitch. Do we have a light? I can't remember. It's not F. We really could use some more bullets. Oh, what's this? Oh, gunpowder. I'm assuming we make 
bullets out of gunpowder. Kind of re uh, Resident Evil uh, 3-esque. Nemesis. Um, this has me quite excited, I'm not going to lie. Like half an hour, or basically an hour into this game. And uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Now, there was... Oh, no, we do. It's V. V for the flashlight. Got you. Now, what was that tool that we've got? The scanner jig, this one. Inventory. Ah, so I thought we had a scannermatron. No, nope, maybe not. Okay, so inventory is tab, not I. Good to know. Yeah, I'm guessing the burst handgun is just gonna be a colossal waste of ammo. One of those guns that seems like it's going to be loads of fun and you really, really, really want to use it, but it's just not practical. Got plenty of herbs. So far. Alright. Well, we're probably coming up to half an hour already. Which, not going to lie, that's kind of sucky. Ooh. A new tutorial has been added. Mouse to melee. Breaks crates. Deals minor damage. Now, I'm kind of curious at the melee. Because um, it didn't seem like you could actually kill enemies in the first game of melee. Oh, bullets. We like bullets. Fresh magazine. Thank you. Six round magazine. That is not fantastic. Got some weapon parts. Nice. Getting a nice amount of gunpowder here, which is cool. Okay, so we can't break those crates. Only the um, wooden boxy type things. Without the steel. Yeah, this game should definitely run better than this. As I say, you know, it's a pretty game, but it's not, it's not stunning. W plus E to climb. Oh, cool. Hello. So we can actually get on top of that sort of stuff. Does that mean we can get onto this? I wonder. No. So we can only climb onto certain things. Okay. So why would it want us to climb up here? Unless it's just the tutorial. I wonder if enemies can get on here. So Grayson. Alright. So welcome to Union. We're glad you're here. Um Yeah, well, I don't think I'm gonna be glad to be here. I wonder if we can shoot these. I don't know whether to waste the bullet, to be honest. We can, but they don't give us anything. Old Resident Evil trick that, you know. Shoot the animals and you get a little bit of ammo sometimes and some uh, some gel. I guess not. Speed limit 20 miles an hour. Now is M for... M is not map. That's a bit sad. But then I suppose tab brings us straight into our map anyway. I'm going to have a lot of fun exploring this, this game I think. <clears throat> Oh, what now? That's gunfire, my friend. Oh, looks like we have hostiles. How do we crouch? If we move in closely, maybe we can get a stab on. Oh shit. Don't let Oh. I was going to say don't let your man die. But uh Mobius members. Some of them are still alive then. Yeah, it looks like it. Those things are everywhere. Yeah. 
Need to get in there and squeeze that guy for info. Uh, stealth, left control, instinct mode. Enemies are especially drawn to sound. Crouch movement can help you conceal the sound of your footsteps. F to attack unaware enemies from behind with a sneak kill. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a little bit late. Um, okay, so... Right. That's really strange. I'm trying to work out how the melee actually works. It seems like it's very inconsistent. Like, incredibly inconsistent. Oh, we got away. He seems to stab, like, three times, and then he stops. At least he did with her, anyway. It looks like it's the, the melee is going to be a very unreliable system. Right, enemy alertness icon. When an enemy starts to become aware of you, an enemy alertness icon shaped like an eye will appear at the top of the screen. When the enemy becomes fully aware of you, the eye will be fully open. When an enemy uh, is starting to become aware of you because of noise you're making, a sound wave icon appears. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. Let's see if we can stealth these bastards. Now, I'm not 100% sure what killed that other guy, but it did see, ooh. It did seem a little bit more impressive. Bottles. Throwing bottles can make enough noise to distract enemies. Bottles can be equipped in the arsenal by mouse 3. After purchasing the bottle break skill, bottles can also be used to break out some of enemies' grab attacks. Oh, nice. Starting a new game on casual difficulty automatically grants a skill. Alright. Right, where's this young lady? Is she not going to come back up here? I guess not. I was hoping she's going to have some kind of pattern. Alright, let's see if we can stab this gentleman in the back of the brain. It seems like the best thing that could happen to him, to be honest. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, buddy. I've got a little something for ya. Come to Papa. Now, how close do we have to be? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Now, I'm hoping we can grab that guy's uh, assault rifle. Some more gel. Another bottle. Let's go grab some bottles. I don't know how many we're going to be able to carry. And there's a herb over there as well. Yoink. I like the idea that we can actually carry bottles now and keep, uh, keep them with us. That's cool. <clears throat> Probably use some health, but I don't want to waste anything just yet. Although it's going to be one of those games, isn't it? I'm going to be like really stingy with my supplies. And it's going to bite me in the ass. How do I get that then? Like that, I guess. Okay, so we can smash glass. Good to know. Right, let's go stab this gentleman in the brain. And then we're going to think about what we can do with all those other guys out there. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Trying to get in the door. Not on my watch, Sunny Jim. Not on my watch. Nice. See, the stealth system was kind of janky as hell in the first game. It worked up to a degree. But it wasn't perfect. Alright, so we've got three bottles on us. Lovely. Now, what to do about these guys? I think we're under-equipped, if I'm 100% honest. I'm 
extremely under-equipped. I kind of... I don't know. I think we can get away from these guys, though, if the shit does hit the fan. So we've got that one over there looking at us. Right, bottles. I'm kind of hoping that if I throw a bottle over here, that's not going to alert them all. Right, so equipment. Not enough liquid in here to give you a buzz, but you can throw it to distract enemies, so it's not totally useless, yeah. Standard semi-automatic pistol. Nothing fancy, but it's reliable and can be upgraded. Automatic pistol fires three shot bursts and can do more damage than standard semi-automatic handgun, even though it shares the same ammo. Right, let's have bottles as two. Syringes as three. Oh, I like that. That's quite nice. Alright, so they're not that. Huh. Alright, well. Bottles don't seem actually that effective at all. So. Okay. Lesson learned. Bottles are kind of rubbish. Oh, that guy's a big one. Foliage can be used for concealment. When your body changes colour, you're hidden. Oh, cool. Right, we don't want to tangle with a big guy. Let's just go into the building. You know what? We're just going to leave those guys. They're having a good time. No need to ruin it. Shit. Oh. Oh, God. Really? Oh god. Oh fuck. Yep. We knew that was gonna be a bad idea. Alright. Bugger. Hopefully that'll hold. Yeah, let's hope so, Sab. Let's hope so. Although we're not overly uh, confident. What's that? Gunpowder, nice. Alright, well, we know also from the first game that the uh, shotgun was really effective. So I'm hoping we will get one of those in the not... Oh, too distant future. Syringe, nice. Nice. Alright, well. You know, I can imagine that this was probably a really nice uh, building at one point. Well, something's having some fun down there. Should we go wake it up? Should we go ruin its day? Or is that our friend? Oh, that's our friend. Closer. Okay, calm down. Don't shoot. I'm not going to hurt you. See? You can lower your gun. I'm on your side. You're not Mobius. You might not be one of those things, but that doesn't mean you're on my side. You're right. I don't work for Mobius, but I was sent here by them. Have you seen what those things out there? What they can do? Yes. Yeah, I have. Lucky for you, your partner was willing to sacrifice himself so you could escape. Yeah. He wasn't my partner. He was just a member of Union Security Detail. Oh, that's all right then. Protecting me was his job, and my job is to solve a hardware issue. Dying inside here is above my pay grade. I'm not a soldier. I'm just a technician. I know. Stop! Or I'll shoot! No! <laughs> I 
soldier would have taken the safety off. Hmm. I told you, we're on the same side. Let's try this again. <coughs> Sebastian Castellanos. I'm O'Neill. Liam O'Neill. So you're not Mobius, but they sent you in here? A new safe house. What? I'm looking for my... I'm trying to restore the core. Just like you are. Yeah? Good luck with that. I'm done. I'm just gonna hold out here until extraction. They can't extract you. Not until Lily is found. Who's Lily? Look, everyone is stuck in here until the core is located. Can you help me out? If you're asking me to go out there with you, you can forget about it. This is a safe house, so I'm staying safe. Got me? But I'm safe house. The core. I detected some signals nearby that resonated the core's frequency. We were trying to track them when we got attacked. Here, listen to this. It sounds like a little girl, right? Quiet. Was that her? The core? I think so. But I've been picking up all sorts of weird signals on my communicator since we got here. No way to know for sure until you track it to its source. How do I do that? Your communicator can pick it up too. Once you're out there, check it. You'll see. You'll probably pick up other signals while you're out there. It wouldn't hurt to follow them to find out what- No way. The core first. It's the only way we're getting out of here. Suit yourself. Let's pair up our communicators. That way I can tell you if I find anything. Yeah, okay. Can't hurt, I guess. Ooh, hello. Uh, the mission. You've been stuck in here a week already? Has it been that long? Damn. The time's a little fluid in here. This was supposed to be a simple in and out job. Like, home in time for dinner simple. But this is different than anything I've ever seen before. What do you mean? Wonky stuff usually happens when a core goes AWOL, but... What's happening is more than that. This place is falling apart at the seams. We use the stable field emitter, but it's not working like it's supposed to. What's the stable field emitter? Mobius sent you in here. Shouldn't you know this stuff already? Uh, well, you could just stop being a dick and tell me uh, about your team. Five members of your team. There was a security force already in here to help us. But yeah, there are five search team members. Wait, did you just say work? I found Baker. He's dead. Huh. Doesn't surprise me. He locked onto a powerful signal and went to investigate. I told him we should just request extraction and report our findings, leave the dangerous work to somebody else. But he wouldn't hear of it, being team leader and all. Always had to be the brave one. Mm. You ask me, there's a thin line between brave and foolish. Yes. There's a thin line between prudent and cowardly, too. Tomato, tomato. I'm not saying I'm glad he's dead. What kind of asshole do you think I am? Quite a big one, actually. I hope the others are okay. I'll let you know if I find anybody else. Did you really do that? Thanks. I'd appreciate that. Okay, so the dialogue is very, um... Off, I guess. It's, it's, mm, it's a bit strange. It's not bad, but... Mm. It's more dangerous out there than I expected. Any idea where I can get some weapons and supplies? I tried to tell you about this one signal, but you didn't want to hear it. Well, I'm all ears now. I picked something up from two Mobius security team members who were talking about weapons caches. Ooh. Maybe you can follow it and get some gear. Maybe they're out there and can help you out. I'll think about it. Come on, man. I'm all alone in here. I could use some protection. Maybe if you hadn't let your last guard take the fall for you. Whatever. I'll mark the signal on your communicator. Follow it or don't follow it. I don't care. You are some serious piece of work. Do you know that? Those things are pretty tough. It takes a lot of ammo to get them off my back. Do you have anything stronger in here? Not in here, but you could probably find some out there. This place was designed to be peaceful, but Mobius and firepower go hand in hand. Do you know where I can find some of this firepower? It's pretty chaotic out there. You're not going to find a pile of heavy-duty weapons altogether. But I did see something useful next to an abandoned APC just outside. I'll mark its location for you. But be careful. 
There are a lot of those things hanging around it. Hmm. All right. Well, thanks, buddy. Um, so I'm guessing we can't get the guards AR that he dropped. Uh, yeah, you're a very, very unlikable character. I'm going to be honest. You're, you're a bit of a dickhead, actually. So anyway, guys, I'm going to save it here. And when we come back, uh, we're going to continue. Hopefully find ourselves something with a little bit more boom to it, shall we say. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.